America remains the top destination for international students. But a report by the Institute of International Education says new enrollments are down for a third straight year. According to the latest Open Doors report, there are 1,095,000 international students in the United States. However, unfortunately, that means that the number of students here is basically flat in the most recent figures. And the new enrollments continue to decline. And that is a deep concern to international educators across the United States. The State Department acknowledges that the United States is competing with other nations to attract young minds. We know that international students also have more choices than ever before about where to pursue higher education. Australia, New Zealand, and Canada have become increasingly popular with foreign students. Canada has increased its international enrollment by 15% by offering smoother pathways to study. Having these students come to Canada is very much a component of our strategy to attract and retain high-skilled workers in Canada. Cost is a major factor when international students make their choice, and it's expensive to study in America. The average cost at a four-year public university is $27,000 for out-of-state tuition each year. At private universities, it's $41,000, according to the U.S. Department of Education. There are a number of reasons why we see declines in the number of international students coming to the U.S., and I think the first is cost. The cost of higher education in the United States continues to rise, and so we need to get that under control. Experts say international students also face uncertainty over proposed changes in U.S. policies. Optional Practical Training, or OPT, allows graduates to train in the field they studied. That enables them to stay in the U.S. up to 36 months after graduation many international educators think it's extremely important to support things like optional practical training, which is the, an integrated part of the education students receive in this country. In addition to declines in the number of students from South Korea, Vietnam, Mexico, Spain, and Nigeria, the report found fewer students from countries with strained relations with the U.S. That includes Iran, Turkey, and Pakistan which are majority Muslim nations. The rhetoric around immigrants overall, but particularly those coming from the Muslim countries, is, uh, uh, has hardened. It's really exciting to see just the, the contribution that international students and scholars have made around the United States, um, whether it's through research uh, or, or, other, or other means. But I have found, in addition, that in my career, both uh, when I served in government and when I've been a, a professor, that uh, I've found that being able to having partners who've actually studied in the United States is a real benefit. We'll find that we actually have many things in common, maybe experiences in common. For Sahar Majid, Kathleen Strzok, VOA News, Washington.